Hello viewers, my name is Fidelis Njoki and this is my sign name. Welcome to Science TV, you know the voice show. I am the host and I believe before we continue, kindly, you can comment, like and also if you need or you want to request yourself to come for an interview or you will prefer me to host you, you if you feel you're motivated and you have something special that you can use to impact our viewers so the voice show has a place for you also if you want to get me you can get me at fidelis at science tv media dot com you can send me an email or you can go to my i instagram page that is at fidelis or facebook fidelis njoki you can email me you can send send a dm on my inbox and then we'll be able to talk now today we have a guest I won't say a lot about her. I will welcome her. Hello. Maybe Hello. will you introduce yourself and tell us something about yourself? You're welcome. My name is Winnie. And this is my sign name. I'm a student at USIU. Oh, you've heard it all. Her name is Winning and also she is a student at USIU University. That is on Thika Road, right? Yeah. So maybe would you tell us as a student in USIU what are you studying and also from, from apart from being a student what else do you do? I'm taking a computer information I'm talking a computer course which is uh, IT and apart from being a student I teach sign language in my school. So that's my responsibility. As I learn, I also teach sign language. Oh, you can see whenever you hear or you see a girl studying. <laughs> Repeat again your course. Maybe I might confuse, Maybe I might confuse myself. <laughs> Maybe would you tell us about your course exactly? I'm taking a computer course, that's mm. IT. Now you see computer science. In this world of today, when you see a girl doing computer science, just be afraid of that girl. It's just a, a unique one. Maybe will you tell us more about computer science? What does it involve? Uh, most people say that our computer science is a very hard course. But uh, most, most, of, most, of, most of the time it focuses on basic uh, things, more about a computer and also the development of technology. Uh, mm -hmm. So when, when you advance, it's more of technology. So, but, but for me, I'm just in the first mm -hmm. year. I've not yet, uh, not yet uh, moved to the second year, but it's more of technology. You've heard it all. The world of today, before, long ago, Many people focused on the traditional ways, but now the world is really changing. We are moving to the world of technology and digitalism. So now you've talked about you have a company for sign language. Will you tell us more about your company and how you're focusing on it and what you're doing with it? Because many times we see sign language, people hear a lot of sign language, sign language, but they don't understand what it involves. Some will even guess. Will you tell us more about it? So I started the sign language classes uh, because uh, most of my friends, I used to meet them. Uh, we go, we interact, but they are stuck when they want to communicate with me. Some of them ask if they are wrong when they communicate with me. So that's when I decided to start some classes to help them communicate with me or other deaf, which, it, which will be very much easier. Mm -hmm. So I, I created a, an advertisement and also I asked for a room. Then when I applied, uh, they, when I applied, they gave me the room and they, were accept, they accepted me to do my classes over there. And uh, it was very much easier at that time. 
So because I also a student at that uh, university, it was very much easier for uh, for them to give me the class, and I didn't have challenges to access to access it. So when I started teaching, it was very motivated, and that's how I've continued. You have had it clear because of communication barrier and also sometimes having a problem of socialization with her friends. That's when it's. That's when our guest thought about teaching sign language. So now, I want you to tell us, Kenyan sign language, eh? are you the same, uh, did you come up with the idea or what, was it the challenge of communication that made you come up with the idea of the company? The, the aim of uh, starting the classes was for me to reduce the language barrier. Because uh, this will, if you, if they, t if people learn sign language, then the deaf out here, they will be able to communicate with the hearing people. So that was my main aim. So from the time you joined the school, uh, that is USIU and where you're doing your course uh, as a student, how did you start? How do you study in a class? Because I know it's not only a deaf school how do you manage to stay in an environment and also learn and be a student with other students who are hearing and able differently because tell us how you your journey throughout the class so when after i finished uh, high school uh then i joined ku so when i went to ku uh, i didn't have challenges but the problem was uh, the course was not really motivating which course were you doing? Uh, for me, I wanted to do law, but at Kenyatta University, it was very much hard because I was deaf, so they said it was hard for a deaf to become a lawyer. So I was a little bit patient but worried because this is not what I wanted. So I asked again if they can uh, change my course to IT. Then they said it is still impossible. So you just do the course that we we gave you earlier. So meaning you never went to any class because you thought you'd do library and you wanted to do law? Yes, I never went to class. And uh, that's when I decided to tell my parents uh, I want to leave Kenyatta University and do something that I want. Because if they forced me to do library, I was figuring out what could I do in future with this course. So then later, my parents told me to just stay and uh, hope everything will be okay. So I asked myself, till when will I be waiting and hoping? So I continued at Kenyatta University. Uh, then one day, I went to visit uh, my school. So my I was interacting with my principal. Then my principal asked me, which course are you taking? And I said, I'm taking a library and uh, information science. And he was like, no, you wanted law, law to be a lawyer. What happened? So before you joined the university, you wanted to do law. Yes. Then the you got, uh, you were called in for to do the library course. Yeah. Uh-huh, continue. So then... Uh, the principal asked me, why am, am I doing a library instead of doing a law? So then that's when he started looking for another school. So I waited for a, a, a year, for about a year. Then later, it's when I heard about USIU, they've had a, a sponsorship a, a program. And, but at USIU, there is no law course. But I was okay with that because I didn't just like the library course. And they also accepted and I got the sponsorship. So when I registered, I was very much worried because they were not communicating at that time. But my parents, just, my parents encouraged me to pray and uh, to continue praying. So after a period of time, I got the, sp the sponsorship and that's when I came. But I was worried, am I the only deaf? So when, when I arrived at uh, USIU, uh, I, I was, the, was it the first or the second deaf among the people who arrived? So I didn't have any problem. So when I arrived there, there were interpreters. And I also interacted with other persons with disability. So when I enter, when I joined the school, they told me there's another there who is coming, and I felt okay. The first day I entered the class, 
there are very many people and they were very much shocked to hear that I'm deaf. And also when I entered the class, there was a sign language interpreter. And uh, the interpreter knew the, uh, the deaf culture. When you start to interpret, uh, people should not uh, pass uh, in between the deaf person and the interpreter. So from then, everything has been okay. So w when I continued with my classes, that's when my sponsors asked me if I can come up with a sign language class to reduce the language barrier. Because uh, most of the time I used to tell people I'm deaf and they could be, sh they were shocked and I used to tell them I communicate using sign language. So I didn't know what I, I was going to do. So I told them, yes, I'm deaf, but I can, uh, have, I have some voice. So from then we continued on well with the other students. Wow, a library. Now low. Now you move to IT. Before you before you said that you talked about how long was the library course supposed to take? Uh, I did library for six months. Ah, okay. Hoping that things are going to work and things are going to change, but it's a good thing because you experience something from that course even for the six months. Now I would want us to go a short break and then we'll be back more with more welcome back we continue with our show that is the voice show which motivates and also which really motivating us now, welcome, we continue with an interesting interview from our visitor, Winnie. So now, in the world today, it's really changing to the technology, and technology is really changing, but we are continuing to get stuck because what do you think? Sometimes children fear, sometimes they may get stuck to do different courses like computer science, IT, because the moment you start thinking about computer science, you imagine it's just a technical, you just have a big question in your mind because you think it's hard. Very many people think that uh, computer science is a hard course. But one thing that they don't know is that uh, you need to have uh, interest in what you're doing and also you need to be motivated. So, because uh, IT, it's a, a big course, but it's not hard. Because we have, we have IT, which is you can learn the basic, but there is others that you, you are supposed to learn deeper and you understand more. So, I just want to tell people, they shouldn't get uh, scared about uh, learning IT, because, uh, because most, of, most of them, they really learn a basic, and the basic is so easy. Because uh, for me, uh, I really love my course and I, I enjoy doing it. So for everything you do in life, you should just try. And once you try, you will see that it's not hard, it's easier. And also you need to have uh, the spirit to do it. Now you've seen many times you'll find girls doing different courses, but sometimes they get stuck to go to the university to continue with their studies. Eh? So maybe, would you say or comment something on when you join school, what is a special thing or special story that you've had from the time maybe you felt like you wanted to give up with school and before you joined USIU, what really motivated you to make sure that and have the thought that you're going to continue with life and also study? So it's, it's always about patience and also when you have patience it's the road to wisdom so most of the time i'm always patient and if anything happens i just remember uh, the words of my mother never be worried god will plan everything in the right time so and for me i believe in god 
and I believe that everything happens in the time of God. So I normally have hope, and also most of the time I'm a positive person, and I'm a believer. So that hope keeps me going. So for the youth who joined the university, I just want to encourage you to have hope. Never be a negative person, and don't give up on trying. Because once you try, you will see that everything is easier. But if you don't try, then everything is hard on your side. That is really true. You need, sometimes it can be very challenging. And sometimes you'll find things are not going on well and maybe sometimes to think and maybe you're hoping for something but you don't have any action. It is better that you act and also you fail, but you'll say, at least I tried, than you just sitting there and hoping that things will change. So, maybe would you have something to tell the youth who want to join a course like yours and are really motive and that maybe they're not motivated or maybe they're feeling stuck because of their school fees or maybe they are stuck because of different reasons that we might have. So maybe would you have a word to the youth who are watching us? Maybe will, will they get go back to the same course or maybe they will get another opportunity? Firstly, uh, mm. let me take this opportunity to say that uh, af when I went to KU, yes, I wanted to do law, but uh, because I, they didn't accept me to do law, so I got disappointed, but that's okay and fine with me. Mm. So, so I asked one of my teachers and that teacher was kind and he really advised me on what to do next. So that's why I accepted to do computer science because he really explained very well to me. So that's why I took the step of trying. And thank God uh, he gave me the motivation and I also got uh, inspired. So I've never had uh, problems with school fees because I applied for sponsorship. So I just uh, want to encourage others who are watching that always depend on God. And don't forget that God will always help you. So just proceed and continue with what you are doing and God will make it happen at the right time. So many people, uh, maybe they get uh, kids when they are still uh, in school and uh, that's, they think that's the, the end of their life. So that's not the end of life. God, who is in heaven, knows you very well. And he has given you this free air to breathe. So that means he will still sustain you through your challenges and uh, through the school to the end of the, your course. So we have very many challenges that we experience in school. But the only thing is you shouldn't give up or you shouldn't be worried of what to do because at the end there is light. Viewers, you have had it all. Do you have maybe, would you tell us maybe organizations or maybe different uh, or advisors or mentors who can support people who are maybe in a very stuck position because of school fees issues? We have, do you have a message to tell the viewers or persons with disabilities where they can get the same opportunity? Organization? Yes, any organization. Could be a company, a government, uh, maybe they have a sponsoring program. Uh, for me, I could uh, advise those who are watching us to apply at USIU. We have a program called MasterCard. You can apply. And uh, so they have different programs to help. So that's all. Yeah. <laughs> OK, OK. You have had it well. So viewers, with the organization that I've that our guest has told us you can try your opportunity because you never know if sometimes you might be stuck because of one thing or another but one thing i know is that information sometimes it's hard to access information that can be one big challenge and it's the key to maybe to some limitations 
So this, this information can maybe connect you to different opportunities out there. So maybe you have a final message that you'd want to tell our viewers, or maybe do you have a word or two? So one thing I would want to tell our viewers, sometimes we can experience different challenges, but one thing I will tell you is you should have wisdom for you to succeed. Good. That was clear. Patience. Patience is is a word that we need to work on, okay? So also, if you know and if you want to give up, please don't. Go back to the word that you have been told by our guests, which will help to make you give an opportunity to think and think back on what to take and what to leave. But don't forget one thing. So viewers, please. I have been your host. Our host, uh, our show is coming to the end, but don't forget that you follow us on our social media pages on uh, Instagram, Facebook, at Science TV, and also if you want, to, you can also watch, if you don't get us live on our TV station, you can also watch us on uh, YouTube, that is at Science TV. I have been your host, Fidelis Njoki, and that is all for us. Goodbye. Bye.